Every LLM app starts simple. You think you're building one AI feature and suddenly you're rebuilding the same things everyone else does. Prompts, rag, tool calls. So the real question isn't can you build this yourself, it's should you? Today we're looking at a tool called Diphy and how well it fits with other LLM tools. Diphy isn't trying to beat Langchain at code, it's just playing a different game. We have videos coming out all the time, be sure to subscribe. Now this isn't a library like Langchain or Lambda Index. It's more of like a platform, but it's open source for building apps powered by LLMs. You get a visual drag and drop canvas to set up workflows, like chaining prompts, doing rag with custom knowledge bases, and building agents. And the real reason people use it is simple. It bundles the usual platform pieces together in one place. But the important part isn't what it has, is what it stops you from having to rebuild. The core features here are you can visually define multi-step logic, conditionals, tool calls, branching paths, then you can chain steps like flow chart instead of hand rolling orchestration immediately. You have rag and knowledge bases so I can upload documents and it handles chunking, indexing, and retrieval. Then you can point the app at your internal knowledge without building the whole pipeline first. And this is where expectations change because the cool part isn't actually the agents. You can also swap providers without rewriting your app logic. It helps you avoid getting stuck with one provider like OpenAI, for example. And it's Docker based. That's a huge part because that means it's self hosted. It runs on your own data. None of this is life changing on its own, but the point is, it is when it's bundled together. <laughs> now, real quick before I jump into a demo, you're asking how is this any different from Langchain or N8N? Well, Langchain and DiFi both handle LLM chaining agents and RAG. But here's the differences. With DiFi, it's visual. You don't need Python everywhere. But with Langchain, you get deeper code control for custom memory and all that other fun stuff. So the trade off basically is speed and visuals or a more fine grained control. Then with N8N, this is where people get confused because they look so similar. I thought the same. Both are node based workflows. N8N, I think, has like 600 apps at least, plus a ton of integrations. Both are free free for self hosting, but the core difference is the focus. DiFi is AI first as it's designed from the ground up for LLM workflows with a more native support for advanced rag and advanced agent patterns like react. So the workflow is simpler to get down and I found it to be more friendly. N8N is awesome for general automations with robust triggers and integrations, but the AI capabilities can feel a bit like they're bolted on like they were added later, which is why the setup feels a bit less user friendly. So there's a difference between these two. Now, in order for this to work, you will need to get an API key from the LLM you want to use. For me, that's OpenAI, so I went over to OpenAI's dashboard, got my key, and then jumped into DiFi. From here, I went to Settings, and then you choose Model Provider. Here, you can already see I set up the config for OpenAI, and it has all these options. Now, below is the list of endless providers you can choose from. Let's say you want Google Gemini. You can install it. And then you would drop in the API key here and hit save. We can then choose this LLM once we are inside our workflow. All right, quick demo now. We're going to build a RAG agent to analyze and summarize different file types. Any type of file, we want to summarize it. You can get clone their repo from GitHub, and then you're just going to spin it up with Docker. It's that simple. This is the main DiFi dashboard. From here, I'm going to create from blank, choose workflow, and name it. I'll choose user input as the one to start, and then I'm going to configure that and add file as the input field. Then we can create a branch. If it's a CSV or PFD, we can extract from that document. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume it's an audio file that we can transcribe. For the documents, we can add in the document extractor and choose the file as the input, then link it to our LLM via OpenAI. I'm going to drop in some prompt here, give it context to my text, and then output that. That's the whole flow, it's that simple. Now on the audio side, I can do speech to text for audio, then pass the text into another LLM node, then link that to my output. It's now done. Two different file types, text files, CSVs, or audio, it's that simple. First, I'm gonna run it on a CSV dataset and see what we get here. See that, right? Here, it summarizes all the data in the CSV so we know. Then if I try and upload an audio file, it's gonna summarize and transcribe that file. I uploaded an MP3 of MLK's I Have a Dream speech. This is the output we get. 
But here's the thing, the same thing that makes it fast can also make it messy. So while there are some good pros I like on this, like self-hosting and mixing and matching models, that's great. There are some drawbacks that I didn't like. Now, it took me longer than I thought to get this up and running and working, bit confusing, and it's not as strong as non-AI tasks compared to N8N, there is that. Still has the occasional bugs when I was going through my setup, got a bunch of bugs, and the self-hosting needs at least two virtual CPUs and four gigs of RAM. So what does this mean, and should you automatically use it? Probably not, maybe not. It depends on what problem you're trying to solve. Now, if you're a solo dev or a small team, you can speed up your MVPs. It's great for that. And if you're a bigger setup, then you could save hours of repetitive tasks. Also a pretty cool thing here. But boiling it all down, if you're trying to validate an idea fast, the difference between visual flow that works today and custom platforms that are still half built next month, that's everything. DiFi might fit good when you want visual flows, but still want hooks for custom integrations like Vercel or Supabase. This is just a cool tool that I found useful that I've been using a bit more of myself, so I thought it was worth sharing. If you think this can save you some time or some dollars, drop a like and give it a shot. We'll see you in another video.